Jake's Makes! Brace yourself, it's Jake's Makes. I hope you're all still enjoying lockdown. It's almost over. But it's still important to wash your hands. That's why this next project's all about the portable soap dispenser. Now, I actually shot a lot of the footage for this video back in March. And there's two things you should know about me in the past. Number one. My hair was short. Number two. I had no idea what I was doing. You still don't. Oh. Hey guys. Okay, so from the last video, I reviewed the- Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to see me nail it first time, do you? You want to see all the times I messed up? Hey guys, so, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, for my, <clears throat> hello guys, hello, why does it sound so weird, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey you over there, hey guys, hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, hey guys, how's it going, it's, hey guys, how's it going, uh, if you saw my last video, you would have seen me review the Wea Speed E. Uh, it's quite a good tool. It's great for screwing things. And then I just started talking a load of nonsense and forgot to explain what this video was about. This tool is the Wea Speed E. In my last video, I reviewed it. And in this video, I want to make an attachment for it. A portable soap dispenser. Warning! Warning! This is a Jake's Makes Public Warning. Now under no circumstances do I recommend that you use the Wea Speedy for anything other than what it's intended for. If you use anything other than Wea Slim Bits, you can damage your tool, you'll void your warranty, you will not get a replacement. Leave this kind of stupid behavior to me. Hey hey, woo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, back to the project. Here we have the basic components of this build. A syringe, threaded bar, a piece of metal from some old shelving, and a long nut. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, a long nut. It's kind of like a small nut, but it's like longer. So yeah, long nut. The idea is to cut the plunger of the syringe and attach the threaded rod. A base will be cut from the metal shelving, a hole will be drilled, and the long nut will be welded in place. This base will then be attached to the top of the syringe, allowing the speedy to rotate the threaded rod, thus moving the plunger. Okay, let's get into the build, and let's get hygienic. Okay, so now I need uh, a pin or something that will slot through and uh, mechanically hold the threaded rod uh, to the beginning of the plunger. So um, you could use a variety of materials. Um, I'm an electrician, so I'm gonna use just a small piece of copper, you know, as long as it's quite thick in diameter, it should, uh, it should hold and do the job. Now just to find some copper. Lucky for me, I'm at just the place. There's something here, I know there is. It's in the frame. Ding!
the next step is going to be to weld the nut, the long nut, onto this base that I've made. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh, shut up, Alexa. I didn't even say your name. Now, full disclaimer. Yes, I'm sitting down on a chair because this part's important. I'm not a welder. I have tried several times to weld bits and I'm not very good. So this could actually go any which way. Uh, it might turn out really well or it might not. But hey, listen, as long as it works, it works. So please don't judge me. In fact, no, judge me. I don't care. <laughs> also, this is where you're going to have to use your imagination as I forgot to record me drilling a hole in the base. <laughs> okay guys, serious part again. It worked perfectly without a hitch in the world. Ah, ah, it's hot, damn it. That is why I'm wearing this glove. I'm such an idiot. Ah. It worked perfectly without a hitch, sort of. I mean, okay, there's actually, um, holes in it. Look, I did say I'm not a good welder. Um, I'm probably going to say, look, as soon as I take this bolt out, it's not going to be very stable. So, I guess, whatever. time to repeat all these previous steps, but with thicker metal, so that when I weld it, it's actually going to stay on. And also, I might change my t-shirt. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any clean t-shirts. I did manage to find a piece of metal though, that would do just the job. only just occurred to me, why didn't I just tap a 6mm hole into the centre? That would have been so much easier. I wouldn't have had to mess around with welding, which I'm terrible at. I know. I know. We all know. Oh well. The problem is it's too late and I drilled a 6.5mm hole through the centre just so we'd have a little play. I guess this means I best get good at welding. Lucky for me, I've got an idea. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there's a little thing out there called YouTube. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for a video. Yes, I am. The basics of stick welding. Of course. Okay, so I watched about uh, 3 minutes and 51 seconds of the 8 minutes and 20 video um, and my internet froze. So um, I've got a couple of options here. I could hotspot the phone, re you know, refresh the video. And, but I'm pretty sure after, after 3 minutes and 51 seconds, I know what I was doing wrong and I'm ready to give it a go. So then I attempted to take my newfound knowledge and apply it um, and after just a little while I managed to get some decent welds. Well, sort of decent. Okay then. <laughs> Who's the welding expert now? Me. It's me. The welding expert. So as you can see, it's uh, the nut is attached to the base. <laughs> Okay, okay, it may have taken a bit longer than it should. It's still hot. But look, it's on, 
and you know, I'm learning. Oh, great. Okay, so um, slight problem. The issue is uh, torque. If you watched my last video, you'll know that the Wii Speed E doesn't have a massive amount of torque. Now it's okay for what's needed, and perhaps when we were designing the Speed E, they didn't really think that people would be using it for this purpose. Now also what I didn't realize was that um, the threaded bar will of course be spinning. So the connection that is made between the threaded bar and the plunger will also be spinning. This adds a lot of friction and uh, I can't use my hands to move the threaded rod. You can see if you're using a driver, it works. I actually have destroyed the thread on the rod there. <laughs> so I did what I typically tend to do and gave up halfway through the project. The future! Introducing the only one in the world, it's the portable soap dispenser! Powered by the Weir Speedy. Yes, that's right. I finally managed to get it done. Uh, it took me a little while, got distracted and made two other videos. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so basically I figured out a solution to, to the problem I was having. So uh, let's do a quick breakdown on what I did differently and then, uh, and then we'll get this to the test. Come on. There she is, a thing of beauty. <laughs> there we can see the mechanism. So here we have it guys, here's the mechanism. I, uh, I ended up attaching two M4 bolts to the plunger and attached them to uh, a washer. I then uh, got the 6mm threaded bar and I put a nylon nut at the end of it and grinded it down a little bit just, uh, just so the nuts won't get in the way. And that has made it so it can spin on its own. And some of you may have noticed that this version didn't require any welding. Yes, that is right. I learnt from my mistake and I tapped a 6mm hole through the base. So that's how we got around the issue. So now let's get hygienic. Yeah. Okay then, let's put this to the test. Uh, so I've got my speedy, I've got my portable soap dispenser and I've got my soap. And also uh, a lovely mug. Thanks, Weir. <laughs> right, let's fill her up. It's going. It's going. It's taking a while. <sighs> okay, I think that'll do. There we go. So she's fully loaded. <laughs> Right, now, ha <laughs> ha, bit of soap for you, bit of soap for you. No wait, we need to do an improvement to this. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go, now I can use it one handed. Ha ha ha, bit of soap for you sir. How about you madame? Oh, what about the children? A bit of soap for them? Ha ha ha, soap for everyone. <laughs> Ugh.
as you can see, fits nicely in the pocket like that. You barely even notice uh, that I'm carrying a portable soap dispenser around. You're just like, hey, look, look, there's Jake just being all normal. <laughs> that normal is. Da, 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 da. Oh, my hands, they're filthy. Ah, looking for me, I've got a portable soap dispenser. <laughs> bit of soap for me, a bit of soap for that one as well. Oh, wrong way. Bit of soap for that one. Then you just put it down and, and wash all the dirt away. <laughs> yeah, I could do with some water, to be honest. Ugh. Or maybe I should have used hand sanitizer. Oh, did you? Ugh. Oh. So thanks guys, that was my video about the portable soap dispenser. I'd, I'd just like to take a second just to, to tell you about something negative that happened due to me making my last video, the We Are Speedy review. Um, unfortunately, I had to divert resources and, and time away from my true venture, uh, my true passion, which is Vacuum connectors. Yes, that's right, vacuum connectors. I have come up with a great idea. If you've got a hose on a vacuum that isn't long enough and you need to make it longer, you have a connector. Oh, that's right, check out my first video. I don't know if you've seen it. You must have seen it. If not, check it out. You'll see all about my invention, the vacuum connector. Check it out, it's gonna change the world. Come on, and don't forget to subscribe. You know what's gonna happen. More crazy videos, they're coming your way. You know it, you know it, yeah!